Hi everyone, today we are going to prepare tomato puree, tomato ketchup and tomato chutney. Come on, let's go into the process. I'm going to show you step by step method. Now we are going to transfer it into the cooker. Now let's switch on the flame. Now let's place the cooker on the flame. Now let's close with a lid and allow it for 2 to 3 whistles. Let's switch off the flame. We are going to transfer it into a bowl. Now we are going to transfer it into a mixer and we are going to blend it. If any skin is left out, we are going to throw it out. Now we are going to filter it to get a tomato puree. taken the puree which I'm going to use for ketchup and this is the puree we are doing on now our tomato puree is ready now our pan is ready we are pouring our puree into the pan okay. now we are adding sugar to it and stirring it now to preserve it we are adding vinegar the sweetness we are adding some chili powder and give too much of chili powder because it will turn into a red chili sauce but we are just making the tomato ketchup pinch of salt give a nice stir Glossy look, our yummy tomato ketchup is getting ready. We are appearing and we are going to reach the final stage. Tomato ketchup is ready. Let's switch off the flame. We are transferring the ketchup into the container bottles. Pouring the tomato puree into the container bottle. See, we are going to stick our labels. Ketchup and puree are stored in a container and they are labeled too. Now let's keep it in the refrigerator. So our ketchup and puree is stored in the refrigerator. Let's have a look. Now we are going to move on to tomato chutney. So here first I am adding on red chilli and garlic. Now shallots of small onion. Now some jeera. Now normal onions. Adding tomatoes, I'm going to grind all these. Before grinding, add a little bit of salt. Now, to a vessel, we are adding ginger oil. Now, I'm adding mustard and ural dal. Let it splatter. After this, we should add hing or asal for data. Now, add the rounded tomato paste into oil. Allow the mixture to boil till it gets thickened. Now, add chili powder. Salt as per your taste. 
This chili powder will bring in an awesome color to the chutney. Now let's close it with a lid. Let's open the lid. Our yummy chutney is almost completed. Our chutney is ready. So now let's transfer and store it. Now we are transferring our tomato chutney into the container. Now the transferred and labeled tomato chutney container is stored in the refrigerator for further use. So now preparation of tomato puree, tomato ketchup and tomato chutney is done and shown in step by step method. After the preparation these items are transferred to a container or an airtight bottle and label. Storing them in a refrigerator is also clearly shown. See you bye bye tata take care.